Hello, beautiful people, and thank you for tuning in once again. You guys already know the message, why I make these videos, why we're still having these conversations and we'll always have these conversations because we're all going through this music of life, this journey. You want to call it a journey, you want to call it a music, whatever you want to call it, we're all going through it together. As one, the humanity is one organism, just like a beehive, right, or an ant colony. We're the exact same way, guys. We're one. We're an individuated units of consciousness experiencing life differently, but we're part of the same animating source. We're not any bullshit fancy shit that I like to use to make myself look smarter. Uh, let's talk about anxiety and repressed emotions. Because I think the main cause of anxiety in modern society and in most people is repressed emotions. And actually the person who brought that to my attention is my brother, Beast of the Aesthetics. I fucking love you, Osama. I love you. I love my brother. And he brought this to me. And so I wrote it down as a topic I want to make. Um, is that because every time he experiences anxiety, he experiences anxiety and then he he went outside and meditated and he realized that he's just, he's depressing emotions. He's repressing emotions, right? He, he like, it can be tears, crying, uh, it can be happiness and joy. Sometimes I, I find myself just really, I want to laugh, but I'm not laughing and it gets repressed. Um, other times tears, like um, when I left when I, when I left my mom, when we were in Alberta, um, like in over in August and I left her the next day, um, then I took five grams of mushrooms and then I fucking cried for 40 minutes. I realized I repressed my tears because I was so sad that I left her, but I repressed my tears and here I am in nature just crying for 40 minutes. You know, I repressed my tears because I had tears that I wanted to let, let out when I, when I hugged her and when we left, but I repressed them and you should not repress. And, and so that causes anxiety and it, it gets stored. See, like the reason why I think a lot of times, like if you're walking in the woods and somebody else is walking, like these people in the woods are chill. Most of them, so they they know like they're they're more friendly, more positive, right? But sometimes it just forget the woods because it's true. Most people in the woods they understand this stuff. Um, in the streets, if you're walking and somebody's passing you by, there's that anxiety that both of you feel. You know why? Because like as humans, we want to acknowledge one another. We want to acknowledge. I want to acknowledge your existence. I want to say hello. That's a natural instinct, and it's a natural thing. We and you want to say hello, or maybe. Um, there's just something to be said that hasn't been said, that has been repressed, causing the anxiety in both of you. It's like an anxious, awkward situation where it's like something should have been said, but nothing. Same thing with like, if you're around a girl, a beautiful girl, and you start to feel anxious, and she's starting to feel anxious. You know why? Because one of you guys should get up and tell the other person that I found you cute. Because, and the problem is we never do that. Like because of society and stuff and blah, 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 and fear of rejection, etc. It's causing anxiety because it's like, Okay, we both recognize that I recognize you're beautiful. You recognize I'm beautiful. We should say it. You don't have to even act on it. You can just like, hey, I think you're very beautiful. And just, that's it. You're getting off the bus or something, right? Um, but then that causes anxiety because you know something you should say, but you're not saying it. You're repressing it. You see? Um, and anger. When anger gets repressed, uh, it causes anxiety and it causes you bad digestion. And it gets stuck in here. You don't breathe properly. You don't speak properly. You're just not your most optimal self, and you feel anxious. Your belly, your belly gets tense. Your body tense, and you, when you're speaking to people, you speak softly, and you feel like you're choking. Ah, there you go. I've been there. I've been there. When you feel like you're choking, you want to say something, but you're not saying it. Well, because you're repressing something. You're either, either repressing some sort of words that you want to say, some sort of truth. Some you might you might be like destined to become a YouTuber, for example, and you're not telling people what you're feeling. I, you know what? Before I started YouTube, I, was, I had that, that, that feeling of, of choking. Like, I, I want to tell this, this stuff to people, but nobody's understanding. I started YouTube, I started feeling much better. You know why? Because that anxiety was repressed emotions and feelings and desires and things that I just should be saying to the world. Um, so recognize that every time you have anxiety, don't judge yourself. Instead, go back and let's deal with the root cause. What am I repressing right now? Am I repressing tears? Did I just break up with my boyfriend or girlfriend and I'm not crying when I should be crying a lot because it's a pretty hurtful experience that all of us experience. It's part of life, right? Breaking up. Um, yeah, you should probably be crying. You know, maybe somebody you love just died uh, six months ago and you're still feeling pain from that and you haven't let that pain out. 
um, maybe you're fucking angry because there's a lot of shit to be angry over in society. And maybe you need to go punch a fucking bag and kick the shit out of it and punch the shit out of it and just go through the woods and scream, ah, right? And just go crazy. And then you'll feel, oh, I'm good. Oh my God, I'm breathing better. Holy, what was I so angry about again? Huh, hello. Hi, oh, this is a beautiful day. Oh, look at these beautiful flowers, right? Suddenly, the anxiety is gone. Um, it's always going to be here, repressed. It, it's, it, it's, what goes in, it's got to come out somehow. Okay, period. So if a word that's supposed to come out didn't come out, it's going to go in. And it's got to be let out one way or another. Because it, it, that, it should have gone out. You have the f life force flowing through you. Right? We're the same as animals. Like, you know, what, what does a fucking bee do when it, when it wakes up? It just goes, does bee shit. Okay? Shout out to my friend Hassan. Like, he's, we, we were walking in the woods one time and he's looking at the bee. He's like, look at the bee. It's just doing bee shit. And guess what? We all have that same animating force. Like, what, what gets the bee to get up off its ass and do bee shit? It's just the force, the way, the Tao, nature, God, whatever you want to call it. It's just doing its thing through the bee. Guess what? God is doing its thing through you. The universe is doing its things through you. And if you repress that, well, we got a problem here. Because now you're, it's going to go in. It's what should have gone out is in and it's going to hurt you and cause you anxiety and tension. So speak your mind. Let out the emotion. Uh, go in a safe environment where you feel comfortable to cry. If I want to cry and I feel, I feel like I have a lot of repressed tears, I go to nature. I'm not comfortable crying in my room, to be honest. I, I much rather go to nature and feel the sky and feel the beautiful things around me and just cry somewhere there. Um, if I want to scream and I'm angry, same thing, nature. I always go to nature. Um, if I'm happy, I go to nature. I'm, I, do, I, I let all my emotions out in nature because that's how it is. That's how we're meant to. That we're, we're part of our environment. We're really, we're just part of the environment, guys. You know, the separation is an illusion. Um, anyway, I don't want to go on another rant video right now on a tangent. I, I have a tendency to go on tangents. Uh, but there's actually a cool podcast, speaking of tangents. Uh, Chris Ryan, Tangentially Speaking. Because he's always going off tangents, so he named it that. Really cool podcast. Uh, I found out about him through Joe Rogan. The Joe Rogan podcast. See, now I'm going off tangents. Back to the original topic. Anxiety and repressed emotions. If you have anxiety right now, I guarantee you, as I look at, look at this camera and as I look and I know that this hand exists, that you have some sort of repressed emotions to deal with. And we should all deal with our repressed emotions responsibly in, in a timely manner, as soon as possible. You have tears, go somewhere right now where you feel comfortable. Come on, you're going to feel comfortable somewhere in your room, you know, anywhere. Go and cry, man, just cry. And, and, and if you have something to say to somebody, go and say it to them. You know, if you got to tell a girl she's cute, go tell her she's cute. It'll make you feel better, even if nothing happens there. It, that's where it ends. You're cute. Oh, thanks. And it's like an awkward moment, but you're going to feel so amazing after. Why? Because you did what God was doing through you, what the universe, what the life force is doing through you. You spoke it out. You let it out. If you're angry, you're angry like I said, go, go repress your emotions, guys. You know, this is why I love like catharsis, you know, just going into like nature and just like, ah, I want to do a video like that. You know what? I'm going to do a catharsis video soon. Just to show you guys what raw emotions feel like. Go watch Elliot Hulse, Brain Slave No More. You guys will understand that. I honestly would not have been given permission and felt it safe and normal to do that if I hadn't seen Elliot Hulse, somebody I look up to do that. So maybe I'll make a video on it. But anyway, doesn't matter whether I make a video or not. Go look up on YouTube people. If you want to see people go crazy, go ham, go nuts. Um, just to feel like it's more normal for you to do because I know it, it feels not normal. It feels so out of norm. But no, that is the normal thing. Trust me, you are the normal. You are the sane, right? You're the sane person and everyone else is insane. They're all walking around with fucking hemorrhoids up their ass because they're not eating good food and they're just have some shit and they're pressing all these emotions and pretending like we're good boys just going by society. I don't want to judge anyone because I love everybody. But I'm saying that's how society is, unfortunately. Don't hate the player, hate the game, right? Or fix the game or, or let's, uh, we're, what we're trying to do here? Offer solutions to the game. So one way to play this game better this society game better is to find people you're comfortable with, uh, environments you're comfortable with, and just let out your emotions completely. In every possible way and however they come to you, whether they're anger, intense laughter sometimes, you know. For me, a lot of, the, a lot of these days it's intense laughter. Back a year ago, it was a lot of anger. Two years ago, it was a lot of anger. You know, now it's like sadness. Like sometimes I just get sad over shit, like my mom leaving, and laughter, but still, because they're like, 
it's kind of weird to see someone in the middle of society laughing, but I, I fucking do it. I do it all the time. But I'm saying it's weird because we repress it. We want to laugh, but you don't laugh. You want to say something, but you don't want to say something. So anyway, hopefully I get the point across. This is how you be anxiety free for the rest of your life. Express yourself. Be who you are. And unfortunately, in a society, modern society, it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort to be yourself. But it's worth it. It's really, really, really worth it, guys. I'm telling you right now, it's really fucking, it's a, it's a, it's a tough journey to be yourself, to really like unfuck yourself from all societal norms and conditions. But once you get there, hey, hey, it's a beautiful ride. And you're just going to be full of laughter and everything's wonderful. And life smiles at you and you smile at people and everything's wonderful. Okay? We can all get to that point because that's the original point that we are made of. Love and light and laughter and lightheartedness and just beautiful, beautiful things, guys. Just, I'm telling you, we're beautiful beings. We're powerful. We're powerful. We're strong. Right? We're fucking strong. But we're, we're beautiful and gentle and kind. And until we rep let go of all the repressions that we have, sexual repressions, emotional repressions, and all of that, we will remain anxious. But once we let go of all of that, the anxiety just disappears. Okay? There's a reason why anxiety is so common in modern society. Because the way modern society is fucked up. It's set up for disaster. Like, it's not set up for the well-being of the individual. It's set up for the well-being of the corporations, the big corporations. And it's funny because even the people that are running these corporations are not happy. So it's really this odd, hilarious, God, some sort of a divine joke on all of us. But we got to kind of figure out that, no, hey, we got to play the joke differently. Anyway, um, check out my book, Five Powerful Habits to Dominate Life in All Areas of Life. will definitely help you with this stuff, right? It's totally for free. 22 pages. Link for it in the description in the comments. Five habits will greatly, I mean, for me, they still do. They became part of me, these five habits. Um, yeah, they'll help you live a less anxious life. But you got to keep working at it, right? Um, use it or lose it. And that's it. I love you guys, every single one of you. If you feel anxious, don't feel bad. Don't judge yourself. Let it out, whatever it is. I'm here for you guys. Always will be making videos, always together in this musical dance of life, together. Oneness, togetherness, unity, love. We're all one. You're me making this video and I'm me watching this video. So I'm watching this guy right now as I'm making this video. Isn't that fucked? As always, don't forget to subscribe or you're going to sleep with the fishes.